Hello and welcome to Beginner Piano Lessons, a 14-week course designed to help you feel confident with the basics of piano. I'm your teacher Dylan Lane and today's goal is to learn about half steps which will help us with the process of building chords. Before we get started, make sure to download a free sample of my Beginner Piano Lessons ebook which I will link in the description box down below. Every video in this course has a related page in the ebook which contains color-coded examples, pictures of my hands on the piano chords, simplified definitions, as well as links to the related videos. A half step is the smallest interval on the piano. If you're not familiar with the word interval, it's the difference in pitch between two sounds. You could also say an interval is the distance between two notes. If a half step is the smallest interval on the piano, let's take a look at what a half step up from C would be. Place your right hand finger two on middle C. The key directly above and to the right of C is C sharp, just as we learned in lesson seven. D is also very close to C. However, it's not as close as C sharp. That being said, C to C sharp would be the smallest interval going up and is therefore a half step. So C sharp is a half step above C. If C sharp is a half step above C, then what would a half step below C be? If we're looking for the smallest interval, C to B would be the smallest interval because B is the closest note to C going down and therefore B is a half step below C. Let's play from middle C all the way up to the next C while playing and saying each half step along the way. C, C sharp, D, D sharp, E, F, F sharp, G, G sharp, A, A sharp, B, C. Now let's go back down to middle C using only half steps. C, B, B flat, A, A flat, G, G flat, F, E, E flat, D, D flat, C. Now let's try something a bit more challenging. I'm going to tell you to place your right hand finger two on a note, and then I'm gonna have you count up or count down a certain amount of half steps. Let's try it out. Place your right hand finger two on G. If you forgot how to find G, remember that you can always start at middle C and use the musical alphabet while ascending the white keys. D, E, F, G. Now I want you to count three half steps up from G. Ready? One, two, three. So three half steps above G would be A sharp. Now let's go back to G. Now I want you to go four half steps below G. Ready? One, two, three, four. So four half steps below G would be E flat. Let's try again with our left hand. Take your left hand, finger two, and place it on an F. Now I want you to play four half steps above F. One, two, three, four. A. Four half steps above F is A. Let's return back to F. Now I want you to play three half steps below F. One, two, three. Three half steps below F would be D. In the next lesson, you'll learn about whole steps, and then soon after that, we'll begin using half steps and whole steps to build major and minor chords. Again, check the description box for a link to download a free sample of my Beginner Piano Lessons ebook, as well as for links to all 44 videos in this course. I'm Dylan Lane, and I look forward to seeing you in the next lesson.